Dear children, wishing you a great day. Welcome to your English class. In last class, we saw the lesson A Wrong Man in Worker's Paradise, point number 1 to 21. I hope that you all have understood the lesson and also read the lesson. Now, let us have a short recap of the lesson. A Wrong Man in Worker's Paradise. So, once there lived a man who never believed in any kind of work. He spent his time in making sculptures of men, women, castles. He made things of mud which was fully covered with seashells and he painted too. And the people, they laughed at him, made fun of him. He thought of uh, putting an end to that uh, but still, he was helpless uh, due to his mannerism. So that it lingered in his mind. And he was like a kind of uh, boy. Some boys, they read, study. They never read your books. They very rarely read the books and uh, study. But they still, they get a pass. Like that, in this man's life also, Something like that happened. He was by mistake, by of the aerial messenger, he was uh, sent to the worker's paradise. The gates of heaven was opened, was kept open for him and he entered into the worker's paradise. A planter was committed by the aerial messenger. So she, uh, the aerial messenger puts the idle man in the worker's paradise. And there in the worker's paradise we see that all the people were always busy working. But this idle man, he uh, launched, uh, he moved about relaxedly in the streets, not paying attention to any kind of work and uh, roughly pushed or bumped against the people. Those were hurrying there. He lay down in the meadows or nearby to the fast flowing streams and he was scolded by the busy farmers and he was always interfering or intervening in the way of the others. So there in the worker's paradise, this man, idle man, he met a girl, a busy girl nearby to a torrent who comes to fill her pitcher there. The, the large jug and then there is a description about the girl about the movement of her on the road it is compared to the fast movement of an expertised hand or the strings of a guitar and her hair was carelessly done and uh, the small thin bunch of hair it uh, fall over her forehead to have a look at the wonder of her I. And this girl, this man, this idle man, he met that girl near the torrent and he asked her to lend one of her pictures. First she was slightly annoyed, angered and then she agreed to give it to him. So this is what we have seen in yesterday's class. Now let us start with point number 22. The man started painting. He drew line after line. He put color after color. So he got the picture and he started painting there. He drew lines over there and he put different colors over there. When he completed his work, the girl held up the picture and started at its Sides, her eyes puzzled. So once when she got it, got the picture, she held up the picture and she started, well, she was very surprised. She eagerly looked at it and uh, she was puzzled because she was unable to understand because she has not seen such kind of things. Which was, uh, she, for them, the people, those in the workers paradise, everything was, any work they do, it should be useful and, uh, and profitable. It should have some purpose. But here she don't understand. She was unable to understand 
what was the purpose of this lines drawn on it and the colorful things you know she did not understand why brows drawn she asked what do they mean all those lines and colors what is their purpose so brows drawn her eyebrows were up in wonder and she asked what is the what is the meaning of these lines and those colors and all what is the purpose of all those the man the idle man he just laughed and he said nothing a picture may have no meaning and so and serve no purpose he said just it a picture may have it has no meaning and has no purpose also the girl went away with her picture at home away with prying eyes prying eyes means watchful inquisitive observative with prying eyes she held it in the light so she took the picture and she held it close by to the light turned it round and round and scanned the painting from all angles so she took the picture and she scanned it scan means she observed it very carefully the painting from all angles at night she moved out of bed lighted a lamp and scanned it again in silence so at night again she, she silently she came out of the bed lighted a lamp and again started observing very carefully that picture again and again in silence for the first time in her life she had seen something that had no meaning and no purpose at all so first time in her life she had seen something which had no meaning and which had no purpose because in workers paradise the people did the kind of work which was meaningful profitable and had some purpose for the first time she seeing such kind of things when she set out for the torrent the next day her hurrying feet were less hurried than before for a new sense seemed to have awakened in her a sense that seemed to have no meaning and no purpose at all when she set out for the torrent so when when she had gone to the torrent next day she went to the torrent and earlier we have seen she used to like in the introduction itself of the girl itself we see that it, she was introduced as a bustling girl means a person who moves very energetically or in a hurried manner so here earlier she was always she used to be hurrying moving faster and now her feet became less hurry so what is the meaning of hurry feet such as the girl was always busy busy doing some work or the other she never whiled away her time so she was such kind of a girl and now less hurry means the girl for the first time had seen some work that had no meaning and no purpose at all but it was very beautiful so she spent her time in admiring and also then she realized that one can do something for mere enjoyment happiness which may not have any utility it may not be useful and profitable also so the hurrying feet became less hurry than before for a new sense seemed to have awakened so she was able to perceive means she noticed a new feeling in her a sense that seemed to have no no meaning and no purpose at all she saw the painter standing by the torrent and asked in confusion so she met him near the torrent and she asked in confusion what do you want of me and the man replied what is up for work from your hands the girl asked what kind of work would you like the man said let me make a colored ribbon for your hair he answered and what for so he said i'll make some colored ribbon for you then the girl asked what for what's the reason nothing just like that he said ribbons were made bright with colors the busy girl of workers paradise so in the early beginning when he asked for the picture she was annoyed she did not give it immediately and she walked away 
then after few days she gave the picture to him but now what happened she gave it immediately and the ribbons were made bright with colors the busy girl of the workers paradise had now to spend a lot of time every day tying the colored ribbon around her hair so now she got the ribbon colored ribbons and now she spent most of her time every day tying the colored ribbons around her her hair the minutes slipped by unutilized so most of the time she it just slipped more quietly without any use me without uh, meaningless with no meaning work much work was left unfinished so most of the work was slackened and it got delayed in workers paradise work had of late began to suffer so now work was delayed and began and work began to suffer many persons who had been active before were now idle wasting their precious time on useless things such as painting and sculpture so the pe many people those were very active busy earlier now they became idle they became lazy spending their time without doing any work and they were wasting their precious time on useless things such as painting and sculpture the elders became anxious so they were very curious because workers paradise it was so busy people were going on working working and working but now like work began to suffer it got delayed slackened so a meeting was called and all agreed that such a state of affairs had so far been unknown in the history of workers paradise so in the meeting all the people they agreed so is that in the history of workers paradise this was the first time they saw that work was slackened it got delayed the errant messenger hurried in bowed before the elders and made a confession i brought a wrong man into this paradise he said it is all because of him so the god's messenger the aerial messenger he came there to the meeting he and bowed before the elders and he accepted this mistake and said it's all my mistake i brought a wrong man into this paradise and it is all because of him that the work is slack and it is it gets delayed the man was summoned so the man was called the idle man was called there on as he came the elders saw his fantastic dress his quaint brushes his paints and they knew at once that he was not the right sort of for workers paradise once when he entered into the for the meeting hall then everybody they understood all the elders they saw him his beautiful and colorful dress his fanciful and attractive brushes and his paints and they immediately they came to a decision so that this kind of person they do not they do not suit to for the workers paradise stiffly the president said so the president he very strictly very seriously he said this is no place for the life of you you must leave so the president very strictly he said people of you kind uh, like cannot stay here you must leave immediately the man sighed in relief and gathered up his brush and paints but as he was about to go the girl of the silent torrent came up tripping and cried wait a moment i shall come with you so the man picked all his brush and paints and with great relief now he was about to move then the girl of the silent torrent she came she walked with quick light steps and she cried and she just told him wait a moment i shall come with you the elders gasped in surprise never before had a thing like this happened in workers paradise a thing that had no meaning and no purpose at all so all the people you know the elders everyone they were surprised to see they were in, with open mouth 
because the girl immediately followed the idol man so they were surprised because never such a thing has happened in the workers paradise a thing had which had no meaning and no purpose at all so this is the explanation of the lesson so hard work along with utility based and with basic enjoyment and pleasure is good at the end of the story we see the girl's readiness she is her open mindedness to change only the girl followed him if he was able to bring the same kind of change the same impact on many of them in the workers paradise then many might have followed the idol man so here in this lesson we see two kinds of world one is a world of work and more work and no relaxation so there is a saying all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so which makes life boring and the second one we see the world of enjoyment filled pleasure along with work so that is the idler's world it's a better place along with work there is pleasure too so work has no much value just for enjoyment and in the workers paradise life is like boring but here in the idler's world work has in the idler's world it has both work and pleasure too work done with pleasure happiness and enjoyment okay now let me explain the question answers seventh eighth tenth and all many you have objective type all those you go through children now ninth one why did the elders of the workers paradise become anxious the elders of the workers paradise they became very anxious because work began to suffer means it was slackened and uh, many people those who were active and uh, busy earlier now they became very idle they started wasting their time on doing useless things like uh, painting and sculpture and all then what is the line the man never believed believed in mere utility mean so this line means that the man did not feel that the entire work one did need not necessarily be purposeful or utility based sometimes work could be done for mere pleasure and enjoyment so here this line means that this man he did not believe you no know, like all the work what they do it should be purposeful and it should be useful also sometimes work can be done for for mere pleasure and enjoyment for happiness also it is not that all work should be useful and purposeful then what changes occur in the girl's behavior attitude of the girl so before she agreed to give her picture to the wrong man so before she agreed to give the picture to the wrong man how was she she was a very busy girl she did not spend time in dressing well in uh, plaiting her hair her hair was carelessly done and she felt very sorry when she saw the idle man standing nearby to the torrent and wasting his time so this was her attitude before she gave the picture to the wrong man and then what was her attitude after she gave the picture to her to the wrong man she took the picture she was attracted by the work done by him she started admiring that secretly why did she uh, admire it secretly because if the elders if they come to know they will scold her they might scold her so she admired it secretly and she spent most of her time looking at them now when then she at night she came out of the bed and she was looking at it secretly and admiring that so and uh, the speed of her work started slacken it was reduced when the wrong man offered to make ribbons for her so how what was the attitude no like when the wrong man said i'll make some ribbons 
she immediately agreed when he asked for the picture she did not agree she was annoyed but here she immediately agreed and uh, she got the after getting the ribbons she started tying the ribbon around her hair and when she followed the wrong man out of the workers paradise what was her attitude she had realized that all work need not be purposeful or utility based some work can be done for the sake of enjoyment and happiness and pleasure and she saw new possibilities open up before her therefore she followed the man out of the workers paradise and at the end of the story there is a complete change in the girl's attitude to life who should the credit go to it is the girl's attitude to change she was ready to change the open mindedness to change and only the girl follows the man out of the workers paradise if he was able he might uh, have made changes on other people also so then many of them might have followed him and then in the additional question answers you can see what did the girl do with the painted picture the man he painted the picture and he gave it to her she took it home and with uh, prying eyes and inquisitive eyes like a curious eye she held it close by to the light and uh, observed the painting from all angles by turning the pictures round and round and at night she got up the out of the bed she came out of the bed she lit a lamp and she observed it again and again in silence as for the first time in her life she observed she had seen something that had no purpose at all she felt that it was the first time in her life she had seen something which had no purpose and no meaning and she lit the lamp and observed it in silence what did the man offer to do to the girl the next day what did he ask the next day he asked her that he wanted to make some colored ribbon for her what did the girl do with the ribbons what did she do the girl she just tied the ribbons around her hair and and delayed completing her work she was busy admiring that and busy tying the ribbons around her hair so what happened the work got delayed why was the meeting called in the workers paradise because work began to suffer and many people those were busy and active now they became idle wasting their time how did they waste their time in making use like uh, useless things like uh, painting and sculpture so the elders became anxious they were very curious and they wanted to know why the work got slackened and uh, they called for a meeting how do the elders know that the artist was a wrong man in their paradise the elders saw that the man was attired means he was dressed up in a fantastic dress and he had brushes and paints with him they immediately knew that he was not the right kind of person for the workers paradise i think children you all have understood everything all the question answers everything you have understood read the lesson i keep repeating read the lesson which is very very important for you all okay now home assignment learn 9 11 12 and 13 question answers just learn all these okay and then additional question answers 6 to 10 all this i have explained now all that you learn and write for homework 9 10 12 and 13 for homework this you have to write and the class work write 9 11 yesterday you have written two question answers so along with that 9 11 12 and 13 you have to write it in your class book and if any doubts any clarification you can immediately call me okay thank you children